Being a child star for one of the biggest family-friendly networks might make you feel like you're on top of the world. Uh, for a bit. Though eventually, everyone grows up, and that might mean you'll be out of the job. Nickelodeon may seem like they'll keep you around forever, but these child stars have found out otherwise. Even if you grow up, the richest wants to keep you around. To join this cool, cool club, tap on that ageless subscribe button and turn on those notifications by giving that gray bell a ring with a click. They say every time that bell rings, an angel gets their wings. So they say. James Maslow. Big Time Rush aired on Nickelodeon from 2009 to 2013, and it was about the crazy adventures of four hockey players after they were selected to form a boy band. Big Time Rush was also created as a real band in Los Angeles, California, whose formation was simultaneous with the TV show. James Maslow played James Diamond, and he was the pretty boy of the group. Getting into Nickelodeon in your late teens is a tricky business because you're right at the cusp of being too old to play a teenager. But luckily, Maslow looked a lot younger than what he actually was, and he was able to ride the Big Time Rush train for several years. But in 2013, rumors were going nuts that the show was ending, and the world finally got their confirmation in September of that same year. After the show's cancellation was announced, the band confirmed that they would be taking an indefinite hiatus. You could probably hear the wails and cries of teeny boppers all over the world. In the meantime, Maslow continued to mature and grow up, looking more like a stud than a cute teenager. Thanks, Father Time. We owe you one. Miranda Cosgrove Oh, Miranda Cosgrove. Who remembers her? The girl was practically the queen of Nickelodeon for a time. We first saw her in Drake and Josh playing little sister Megan Parker from 2004 to 2007. But even before that, she did her first iCarly webisode for Nickelodeon, which was a hit. As soon as Drake and Josh ended, she got to work on the iCarly series until 2012. Considering that Cosgrove was born in 1993, it seems that when she turned 18, she was on her way out of Nickelodeon. Sure, it's unfair, but the network's target audience isn't really interested in older teens and college kids. They want to see middle schoolers, and even high schoolers have their adventures and such. Cosgrove was looking more like a young woman than a kid. Since her time with Nick, she has given Margot a voice in the Despicable Me movie franchise and played Shea Moore on the show Crowded. One thing for sure is that she definitely is not the little girl that was playing practical jokes on Drake Bell and Josh Peck. We can't help but wonder if Peck invited her to his wedding since he didn't invite Bell. Newsflash, she wasn't. Ricardo Hurtado. Ricardo Hurtado currently stars as Freddy in the TV series adaptation of School of Rock on Nickelodeon. While many people think 2016 was the first time he made his Nick debut, he actually had a cameo in 2011 on Alexis Joy VIP Access. Clearly, the network didn't forget about him. Hurtado was born August 22, 1999, making him 16 years old when he first appeared on the show. As we learned with Maslow, that can be risky business when you're a child star. But Hurtado looked and sounded like a teenage boy just starting puberty. Considering that Freddy is supposed to be around 12 years old, this comes as a major shock. We also know that during a male's teen years, they can grow, change, and mature extremely fast. Hopefully his boyish good looks stay that way because it won't be long before he doesn't look like a preteen anymore. Even just in a span of one year, he has quickly matured and is looking like a handsome young man about to start college. Well, he just turned 18 recently, so that's not such a tall assumption. But since Hurtado is such a hit with the female fan base, his job is safe, at least for a while. Jade Pettyjohn. Speaking of School of Rock, Jade Pettyjohn plays Summer, who is crushing on Hurtado's character. Big deal, another female child star, right? Before she was snagged by Nickelodeon, Pettyjohn already had quite the career going on. She was guest starring on TV shows and was even playing lead roles on a few made-for-TV movies. She had a guest starring role on the Nickelodeon show Henry Danger, playing Chloe Hartman before she got a regular gig with School of Rock. Like Hurtado, she is also playing a 12-year-old kid whose musical instrument is the tambourine. While she only recently hit the legal driving age, she's already looking like a gorgeous young woman who just might be ready to play some more mature roles. But since she's still playing a young teen for Nickelodeon, she's going to have to continue to look like she's a lot younger than her actual age. Usually, we don't have to worry about that until we hit our 40s and 50s. Yet, even if Petty John does mature out of her role anytime soon, 
considering she already had quite the resume before Nickelodeon, her career will probably be just fine. Jace Norman Since we mentioned the show Henry Danger, let's talk about the kid who's in the starring role. Well, we might be using the term kid loosely these days. Jace Norman was born in 2000 and plays Henry Hart, who's also Kid Danger. Hey, now the title of the show makes sense for all of you who are unfamiliar. The world first saw him in 2012 on a certain mouse-related show called Jesse, before moving on to Nickelodeon in 2013 with a guest spot on the show Dead Time Stories. Then he played Flunky on the Nick show The Thundermans in 2013, before getting cast in Henry Danger in 2014. The show is still going strong on Nickelodeon, and Norman has done a lot of growing up since it started. He's basically gone from looking like a prepubescent kid to a young man. But the show was renewed for a fourth season, so it looks like Nickelodeon isn't ready to let go of Norman just yet. However, considering he's starting to walk the line between being a teenager and adulthood, we'll be staying tuned to see if there's a fifth season. But superheroes can be grown up, too. Let's stop the hands of time and take a break with a quiz. History buffs are going to love this one. So we know the network Nickelodeon, but what does that word actually mean? Find out the answer at the end of this video. Meanwhile, let's wake up father time and get back to business. Ali D'Amico. Ali D'Amico played Rosalina on the Nickelodeon show The Naked Brothers Band, which aired from 2007 to 2009. That would put D'Amico in her early teens when she was on the show. But if you look at her in 2007, she looks really young, like barely breaking the double digits in age. That means she was destined to have a decent career with Nickelodeon since the younger you look, the more you appeal to the network's fan base. D'Amico also wasn't without controversy. In 2008, her MySpace account got hacked and photos of her and her other teenage friends wearing bikinis and lingerie were released to the public. She was 15 at the time, so you definitely shouldn't be looking. Considering this was right in the middle of her time with Nickelodeon, you can imagine the reaction and damage control that had to happen. But after her time on the Naked Brothers Band, she wasn't getting any work. Even though she hadn't even hit her 20s yet, she seemed to have outgrown her child star status. In 2009, she retired from acting and focused more on her personal life in education. If you look at her today, she definitely isn't that wide-eyed kid that we remember from Nickelodeon. Nathan Cress. Anyone wonder what happened to that adorable kid that was always crushing on Miranda Cosgrove's character on iCarly? As you figured out, Nathan Cress played a pretty important role on Nickelodeon's iCarly, along with a few stints on other Nickelodeon shows like Drake and Josh and Victorious. The Nick Child star was born in 1992, and considering that Freddie just seemed so young throughout the series, this next fact is going to blow your mind. iCarly aired their final episode just three days before Cress turned 20 in 2012. Then three years later, he got married. So after iCarly was over, it seemed that his child star days were done as well. It doesn't mean that he wasn't talented, it just meant that he literally aged out of the role. After his time with Nick, Cress actually did a lot of work with guest appearances, voiceovers, and he even landed a regular voice acting role in Star Wars Rebels as Wedge Antilles. See? Growing up isn't such a bad thing after all. At least, that's what we'll keep telling ourselves. Lizzie Green. Lizzie Green plays Dawn on the Nickelodeon show Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn, where she's the oldest out of the quadruplets. The show first aired in 2014 and is currently going strong. If we look at Green at the beginning of the show, she looks so young and innocent. Even though we know she has her makeup on in the show, she's fresh faced and looks, well, little. She was born in 2003, making her around 11 years old when she first started the show. So that makes sense that she looks like a little kid, but wow, what a difference a few years make. Green is approaching her mid-teens, and even though she isn't old enough to drive yet, she already looks like she is. Thanks to makeup, hairstyling, and a much more mature wardrobe, Green seems to already be preparing herself for her post-Nickelodeon days and looking much older than she actually is. While the network can probably pull the plug on that really quickly, she is a big hit on the show. So even if she does look like she might be aging out of playing Dawn, there isn't anything some makeup and a pair of overalls can't solve. Devin Werkheiser We're about to really dive into some Nickelodeon nostalgia for those of you who were watching the network in the early 2000s. If you're bummed that we're not going to cover the actors from Hey Dude or Salute Your Shorts, 
that will be in a different video. Anyways, remember Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide? Devin Werkheiser played the title role, and he overall looked like a pretty goofy kid with a set of eyes that could break any preteen's heart. The show aired from 2004 to 2007, making him around 12 to 13 years old when he first appeared. By the time Ned's Declassified came to an end, he was learning how to drive. Not to mention, Werkheiser was also very much looking like an older teenager. His time with Nickelodeon was over, and he had to move on to more mature roles. In 2011, he was playing the role of Peter Parks on Greek, and was making appearances on different shows and in movies. So thankfully, Werkheiser's overall career wasn't over after he aged out of being a child star. Not that many former stars are that lucky, so consider that a bullet dodged. Phew! Victoria Justice Victoria Justice was another child star who seemed to be the queen of Nickelodeon. She was just a preteen when she started playing Lola Martinez on Nickelodeon's Zoe 101 from 2005 to 2008, basically until the show was abruptly canceled thanks to Jamie Lynn Spears having a bun in the oven. But Nick wasn't done with Justice, as she made an appearance on iCarly playing Shelby Marks and then playing Cory Vega. The latter would become the role Justice would play on Nick's hit show, Victorious which was on the air from 2010 to 2013. She was already in her mid-teens by the time Victorious came around, but she rocked the role so well that she didn't have time to worry about getting too mature for it. However, as we know, all good things come to an end, and Justice had to move on to more mature roles. When you think about it, female child stars could age out a lot sooner than she did, so Justice definitely got some accolades for sticking around Nickelodeon. The final episode of Victorious aired just a few weeks before Justice turned 20. When you compare her Zoe 101 days to her last moments on Victorious, you can definitely see how much Justice grew up. So what does the word Nickelodeon actually mean? This is actually a two-parter. Nickelodeons started back in 1905 as movie theaters, so the name contains the price of admission, a nickel, and the Greek word for a building meant for music and entertainment, Odeon. What would you do if you found out that you were suddenly too old for your job? Tell us in the comments below. If this video gave you some epic nostalgia, give it a like. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Before you go back to your normal life, check out some of our other timeless videos here on The Riches. Bye-bye for now. We'll see you next time.